my name is Sadia Khaf and I am a lecturer at JIK Institute of Engineering Sciences and Technology and today I want to talk about something that has been bothering me for a while. It's questions like what are the best engineering fields for girls? For me the bigger question is why do you need to ask that question? Why aren't you asking what are the best engineering fields for boys? Do girls lack talent? Aren't they smart enough? Don't they have problem solving skills? Because I think we've seen mums solve more problems than dads at home. So it's apparent that girls have at least as much problem solving skills as boys, if not more. So why then a girl needs to decide her career based upon being a girl and not on her academic excellence or on her problem solving skills or her interests why does she have to think about her marriage her responsibilities her being a girl before she even thinks about her academic interests before she even thinks about what she wants to pursue in life so i think the problem isn't with engineering as a career for girls or boys the problem is with the mindset here in these countries like pakistan and india etc or in many parts of the world and unless this mindset this problem or should i say maybe an epidemic is resolved is cured the answer would remain complicated that what's the best engineering field for girls I think we can all agree that throughout their academic life in schools up to the point of maybe their FAC, we have seen girls excel more in studies than boys, be it sciences, be it arts, any subject. I've seen girls achieve higher grades than boys. Then why is it that when it comes to fields like science and technology and mathematics, Suddenly, we see a decline in the interest. We see that boys are still very enthusiastic about choosing mathematics and physics and engineering, but somehow girls kind of either lose interest or they start thinking about whether or not they will have a career in engineering after graduation, would they be able to practice afterwards. And as a result, the ratio of girls to boys is pretty low in engineering institutes throughout Pakistan at least. And same was the case in Turkey. I think same as we can safely say that it's, this, it's the same throughout the world. So I think we need to encourage girls to be brave more. When a boy makes mistakes as a kid, when he breaks something, it's okay, he's a boy. But girls are may be taught to be sensitive, delicate, not to break things, not to take risks, play it safe. I would say don't play it safe. Do what you want to do. The thing that encouraged me most towards in becoming an engineer was that my parents always let me break my toys. My father would actually encourage us to open up our toys and take out the motors, take out the LEDs, play with them, build whatever we want to build using them. We used to take those parts out as and use them as Lego bricks maybe and create something new and probably stupid out of it. But that really encouraged our creativity and it kind of improved my problem solving skills as well. So girls can be good engineers as much as boys can be it, it it has nothing to do about it has nothing to do with your gender all you need is problem solving mindset and a bit of out of the box thinking to become a good engineer as far as what are the safe choices what are good career options for girls, I would say every career is good if you have interest in it. If you want to become a mechanical engineer, a civil engineer, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I do know good civil engineers. I know girls who are in mechanical engineering and they are working in the fields. They are working 
uh, out there and there is nothing stopping them. I know some brilliant researchers who are working in machine learnings who are girls and honestly I haven't known more brilliant machine learning researchers who are boys. Right now the most brilliant machine learning researcher I know in my friends is actually a female. She's doing her PhD, she had her baby at the same time and I, I think it's really brave of her. So if you want to pursue a career in engineering, there is nothing stopping you. If you want to become an electrical engineer, aeronautical engineer, mechanical engineer, civil engineer, whatever you want to do, it's all up to you. It's all, it all depends upon your interest, your abilities to solve problems, your interest in programming maybe, if you're choosing that sort of side. So your academics and your interest defines what kind of career you should have and not your gender. As far as the scope of engineering goes or scope of any profession goes, I've heard people say that this particular career does not have any scope in Pakistan. To some extent, I would agree with those statements because the scope of any field depends upon the demand and supply of that particular area. So in short, to see the scope of any field, whatever you're planning to do, you can simply do a Google search. Go to Google jobs, jobs jobs.google.com and type jobs, electrical engineering, electrical engineer jobs in Pakistan. Type electrical engineering jobs in Islamabad. Choose your specific interest fields if you think that I want to become an electrical engineer and you want to know beforehand would I have a job or how many jobs would be out there when I graduate you can get an estimate by doing a simple google job search and I don't think so you should really choose your career depending upon the number of jobs list number of job listings you see because in the end if you do choose a career that has maybe 5,000 job listings and in the end you're not really interested in that, you're not really enjoying that, then you may not be very successful in that. There is a high probability that you will not be very successful in that if you don't have a genuine interest in that. If you have a genuine interest in a field that is maybe becoming a bit saturated, there is nothing wrong with you pursuing that anyway because if you're the best at what you do, you would still have a job. So don't worry about these things, about scope of engineering, about being a girl and being an engineer. I'm a girl, I'm an engineer, and I think it's awesome. I find that this is my calling in life. This is the best job I've ever had. For a while, I was away from engineering. After my FSE, I, due to some reasons, I couldn't join an engineering university right away. For about six months, I joined CA, Chartered Accountancy, and I was miserable there because I was away from what I love the most. I love physics, I love maths, not the maths that is just the plus minus type or the accounting type. I love doing the equations and algebra and stuff. So when I was away from these subjects, I was literally miserable. I didn't enjoy studying those subjects even for a day. I hated every minute of it. And when I got a chance to get back to engineering, when I actually started my undergrad studies, it was the best time of my life. It was like I found myself back in my interest, back in my profession. So my advice would be, if you're a guy, if you're a girl, it doesn't matter if there is a scope of your field in your country or it isn't, it doesn't matter. Do what you love the most. Do what you enjoy the most in life. In the end, borders are becoming more and more blurry and scope of every field is kind of a relative term now. If you don't like it here, you can move to somewhere else. You can find a better job somewhere else. So don't limit your choices. Do what you love most in your life. That would be my advice to all the FSC students, all the matriculation students at this stage who are deciding about their careers in life. And I would especially encourage all the girls out there 
to choose engineering as their field even if they have a little bit of interest in engineering no girl needs to be afraid of engineering no girl needs to be afraid of getting a job having problems in securing a job because when you're the best at what you do you definitely have a place where you fit in so don't worry about the jobs don't worry about the environments the environments in all the good engineering universities is really awesome it's really encouraging don't be afraid of the little hurdles the little problems i might do another video on the challenges that female engineers face but for now let's think on the positive side let's do some positive good vibes spread some positivity around here so i would encourage all the girls to join engineering fields if they have an interest in it as much as i would encourage any boy so good luck stay tuned for more videos i would make probably a few more videos specifically targeting girls in engineering thank you for watching